Arizona Cardinals. The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Mexico City. Right to the air. Here's Murray. He'll get that. Oh, right away. He lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they're going to bring this one back. It's a fumble return. A scoop and score for the Vikings. Huge, huge play by the defense. Not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? And I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> so here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it, but you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Murray off play action. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by a Caleb Evans. And the Vikings are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Flush to his right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. And, and the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser White, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. And the tight end goes in motion left. The drive will start with an option going left. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits. Touchdown! Trey McBride, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the cards are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. The Cardinals offense staying put. Obviously, watch out for Kyler's legs. They'll go for two here. And he'll get in. And they take an 8-7 lead. Well, not content with the first quarter lead, I guess. They're going to go onside kick. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Here's a give to Madison running right. And he'll get this up to about the 40. 
Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. They go play action. Cousins. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Play fake, Cousins. Complete, Jefferson the target. So the completion good for just three, and that'll make it second down. Cousins now from the 50. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Cousins in the offense is going to stay out there. They're going to try on fourth down. They'll throw again. Cousins. That is caught. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. for the touchdown. And the Vikings are once again back in front. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes this a 14-8 ball game. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the last in the double-digit snaps. You need to score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. A gain there of 21 yards. Under a minute to go, clock running in a back and forth first quarter of play. Sliding out of the pocket. And he wisely will throw that one away. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On play action, it's Murray. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. 
Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And now comes the field goal unit on. And boy, this is asking an awful lot here. Maybe that's an understatement. And as is to be expected, this is nowhere near being good from that distance. And the deficit will stay at two field goals. Now they try the 50-yarder and miss it, and now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. They'll go Madison up the middle. He fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Cousins. A throw right side here going to be incomplete. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. On third down, Cousins. And they'll find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Vikings. K.J. Osborne, 39 yards. And the Vikings are able to widen their advantage. Joseph on for the extra point. He knocks it through, and he extends the lead to 21-8. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goal post, so. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Murray to Moore for the Cardinal first. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray forced out to his left. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. And the end result of that play... You're almost not sure what you really want because when he gets outside of the pocket, you actually hold your breath because you think he's going to run for big yardage. But when he chose to pull it down and throw it and a play was made to knock it away, that's a pretty good end result. Not one you expected when the play began. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. Cousins now to throw on first down. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On play action, Cousins. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown but incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Pass complete to Akers on the outline. 
And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing his cousins. Akers back to back catches. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. He's got room to roam. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Here's Madison running on first down. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Alexander Madison, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings had six to their lead. Kevin O'Connell choosing to leave his guys out there, and they'll go for two. Cousins will try and throw. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there, you've given yourself a chance, you're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Play fake, Murray. They'll roll him out right. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Murray now on first down. This one deep for Wilson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. And he completes it to Wilson. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 25-yard line. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Steps away to his left. just get rid of it. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by a Caleb Evans. And the Vikings are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. But the good news for them, they got the football. The bad news, they have to go 99 yards here as they start this drive out on their own one-yard line. Give them a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Going to run with Madison again. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. The Cardinals gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and short yardage, Cousins. And he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And here's Ryan right now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. That's taken on the 25. Sixty two yards on the punt that time. Wow. And the cards will take over first and ten. 
Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is... Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. You can't admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down. And I do. But let's face it. You know his coaches are going to warn him about diving or extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to dive, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he didn't. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings! Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon. And the Vikings continue to pull away here in this first half. Kevin O'Connell choosing to leave his guys out there. and They'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on the two-point try. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And the Vikings will take over possession here up at the 44. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at their own 44. Meanwhile, Cousins throw taken in by Hawkinson here. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Off the play fake, Cousins. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Justin Jefferson as the first half is winding down. And the Vikings would extend their lead here just before halftime. They'll try and throw for it. And this is going to be caught. I'm well, not sure about the need to go for two, but they get it and extend this lead out even further. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Cameron Bynum. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. In motion right is Osborne. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Final play of the half, Cousins. That's down the field for Jefferson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. 
They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. And the receivers I know, they have a great deal of confidence. Usually they stand in front of the mirror before games and say, not one touchdown, not two touchdowns, but three touchdowns. I'm trying to turn this one into a big time performance. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. He's got it at the 15. A big play there for Minnesota. 51 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. In motion right is Osborne. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Cousins to throw it. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown.